The sold out signs were up at Scott's Toon as Leinster rolled into town to take on a Glasgow team full of confidence after two wins out of two. New signing Lotte Takiri started as Dara Fanning was injured in the warm up. The Scots went into the game on a run of eight straight wins at home in all competitions. They had to make a late change with DTH van der Merwe out through illness. Tommy Seymour came in at number 14. The big crowd weren't treated to champagne rugby in the opening quarter. It turned out to be a real war of attrition in the midfield, with both defences holding strong. In fact, it took 24 minutes before the first scores went on the board. The referee unhappy with Warriors' Ryan Grant in the scrum, and Jimmy Gofferth landed the resultant penalty. By no means an easy kick, but well finished off by the man from New Plymouth. 3-0 to the visitors. Pre-match, the man on the tannoy had exhorted the Glasgow faithful to make some noise, but in truth they had very little to cheer about. Stuart Hogg had a decent chance to open the home side's account, but his radar was off and the scoreline remained unchanged. Glasgow nil, Leinster three. Just past the half-hour mark, Leinster new boy Takiri was forced off with a leg injury to be replaced by the returning lion Rob Carney. Then before the break, Shane Jennings was also forced off with a hand injury. Some concern for Matt O'Connor there. A minute before half-time came the long-awaited breakthrough for Glasgow. The pressure paying off when after a period of sustained attack, flanker Chris Fusaro forced his way over the Leinster line despite the attentions of Rob Carney. At last, the home crowd got what they came to see. The man from Kirkcaldy getting his first try of the campaign. Hogg converted to leave Warriors 7-3 ahead, and that's how it stood at the break. Not a classic, and the second half was slow to get going as well. Warriors had a chance to extend their lead, but Mark Bennett was unlucky to see his kick come back off the crossbar and into play. Glasgow weren't able to capitalise. The Leinster rear guard held strong, and Gopperth was eventually able to clear the ball to safety. At the other end, as the game moved into its final quarter, Leinster narrowed the gap to just a point. Gofford with another well-struck kick to leave Glasgow 7, Leinster 6. Into the last 10 minutes, it was the home side who were applying most of the pressure. Twice they opted to kick for a line-out rather than go for the posts, and that venture was rewarded in the 75th minute when substitute Jerry Yanuyanitawa barged over the line for his side's second try of the match. The man from Fiji doing great work. Jackson had the chance to put further distance between the sides, but his conversion hit the woodwork and it left the door open for Leinster at 12 points to six. However, the visitors couldn't capitalise and it was Glasgow on the counter-attack as the full-time whistle blew. Warriors holding on for a record ninth straight win at Fortress Scotstoun. It's a decade since Glasgow won their first three Pro 12 season opening games. Gregor Townsend's side take on Zebre next time out. Leinster will be concerned by the result and by the walking wounded after this one. Final score, Glasgow 12, Leinster 6.